Today I'm gonna show you how to extract lots of information from dates such as year, weekday number, hour, minute, etc. And if your date is in text format and not usable by Excel, I will show you how to extract it in the proper format. So let's go. Let's start warming up by extracting all this information from the date. And first of all, ensure that you have a date. In order to check this, you just go under home, click on this comma, and this will transform itself into a number. Let's do control Z. In case you don't get a number, it means you have a problem with the date. So I'm going to show you in this video so many examples to fix it. But for now, we go back and we start equal year, select the date, close parenthesis, press enter. Then you have the months, same technique. Then you have the day, open parenthesis. You see, you will never forget those formulas. This is the hour. Then for minute, there is a trick. This is not min. Min is actually minimum in Excel. So don't forget to put minute, close parenthesis. Then you have second open parenthesis, select the date, close parenthesis. For weekday, you also have a formula, open parenthesis, but I have two parameters. So the serial number is always the same, that's my date, comma, return type. So here you can tell it which is the first day of the week. For example, in my case, Monday is number one, and then Sunday is number seven. So I need number two, double click, close parenthesis, and you get two because the 31st of October is a Tuesday. Some of you will tell me, but I need to see Tuesday. No problem. We're going to use a text formula. So text, open parenthesis. You have a value here. For the value, we're going to use weekday, open parenthesis, select the serial number, and we're not going to touch the return type. The return type is an optional parameter. So if you don't put anything, it will take the default on your computer, comma, format text, double quotation, four time D. There we go. We close parenthesis. This is Tuesday. Then for the month's name, again, the same text formula. So equal text. Here we just take the date, comma, double quotation, MMM, close parenthesis, press enter. That's October. If you add another M, it will be October full. Finally, the date without the time. So here we're going to use floor. Why am I using floor? Floor, what it will do, it will remove the decimals. And here dates, as you have seen, are numbers in Excel. The time will be the decimal part. The rest will be the date. So here I just select this one, comma, significance one, which means I don't want any decimal. Close parenthesis, press enter, 31st of October. And if I convert this to a number, 0.32 is actually 0.32 days, which means 7 hours and 43 minutes. Now let's go to the fun part, how to extract date from text. So here I have some text. So if I click, I don't get anything. I will use first flash fill. So for flash fill, I need to give an example to Excel. Here I have 14 March 2017, right? I come here, I do control E and it will extract all the dates. If you go here, click, you see those are numbers. For the time, same principle, 19, 09, 37, control E, you go, you click and you get 0 0.8, which means it's a time. Now let's do something a bit more complicated. If you come here, it looks like it's a date, right? I click on the comma, nothing happens. It's because you downloaded this from the system and it's in text format. So what I could do is the following. Let me just copy paste them. So control C, control V, and I'm going to do control H. So here I'm going to try to replace and notice that I have selected my data. So I'm going to replace this slash with another slash. It sounds weird, but this will work. You will see replace all press. Okay. Close. And here, if I come, this is a date. Control Z. For this one, we're going to use a formula. So let me just move and we're going to replace those dots with a slash. So here we just do substitute, open parenthesis. What's my text? My text is actually this one, comma. Let's do all text, which is the dot in double quotation, comma, 
new text we're gonna use a slash double quotation i'm not gonna use the instance number again optional parameter because you have those brackets around it so close parenthesis press enter and double click if you try it will not work still why because this is still a text so here we can use date value open parenthesis and here close parenthesis it will take a date as a text and transform it to a number so now you double click this is a proper excel date Control z let's do the last one which is a bit more complicated so here you have 2018 05 and then 04 so the 4th of may 2018 we're gonna use some text formulas to extract the date so let's start first of all i need to get the year which is 2018 so i can use a left formula left will take x number of characters from the left of your data so here this is my text number of characters four close parenthesis 2018 right now let's do and double quotation let's put a dash okay double quotation so now you get 2018 dash and now i need to extract the months right so how to extract the months i can use mid open parenthesis this is my text comma the tough part is the start number so here i will always start my months at the fifth character because the year is four characters so i'm gonna put five and my month is always two characters so 0, 05 0, 03 12 etc close parenthesis press enter you get 0, 05 let's add another dash and after that i need the day the day is also mid we're gonna use the same text k2 comma start number here i'm gonna start at the seventh character always so seven i need two characters close parenthesis and i get something that resembles a date but if i click on the comma again doesn't work what do i do in this case you have date value open parenthesis close parenthesis press enter and now this is a proper date ctrl z double click